How do you take a part with rounded faces, threads, crazy shapes like this, and reference it in your other sketches? Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. So today we're talking about how we could leverage this past geometry or these profiles when they don't seem to show up when I'm sketching. Have you bumped into this? I get this question sometimes. How, when you're starting this new component and we start a sketch in the new component on this front plane, I now start sketching. And let's say I wanted to sketch, you know, an outer for this upper cylinder, something to go around it. And we're going to emboss it. We're going to put a cap on it, whatever it is, we're going to offset. I want to be able to reference this edge and it won't wake up. Some of the edges do that are actual edges, but this rounded face doesn't have a hard edge. Well, relatable to that plane that we're on, we can do that. It's called projecting. So I'm going to hit P for project. And this is the default is the selection filter and it doesn't help. It's the same problem. You have to go to bodies. That's the giveaway. All right, select that. And this is so cool. I love this. You hit OK. And then it draws all of these edges. It's worth noting these are all related to the plane that we're on, right? So this is the front plane. It's this particular plane that I selected. You can see it's projected onto that. If I turn off the body, you can see it a little bit better. You see how it's, however that body crossed that plane, that's what got projected. So it is sensitive to that, worth noting. But now, I can start dimensioning. I could even offset. So I'll pick this entity and you can see it's offsetting it and that entity, right? And we can flip it to the other side. Hey, so if you'd like to learn how to model this part, check out this video here. Or if you'd like to see 23 tips that are super helpful for beginners, check out this other video. Thanks for watching.